The reason why it's so different, I mean, yes, we're an art gallery and yes, we've got art, but we're really different because we're a museum of people. So we're full of stories, and this is about people, but immediately it's about their story, about how they got to do the things they did, what, in many cases, they overcame. Many, many people here came from very modest backgrounds to do extraordinary things. So really, with every portrait, there's a wonderful story to find out, and if we can engage young people so that they can feel, as is the case, yeah. that their own stories are wonderful, their own lives are fascinating as they are, that they can see something engaging in that sense about life and stories. The portraits that come in are really about the sitter. I mean, of course we care about the artist, so whether we're looking back, you know, if it could be a great Joshua Reynolds painting from the 18th century, that matters if it's possible. But we always start with the sitter first. And when the gallery was started in the 1850s, 150 years ago, that was the idea and it remains the idea. So we care about the artists, but we're always thinking, is this a person, as we put it, contributing to British history and culture? They don't have to be British, but it's about what have they done here? What have they achieved? How have they made a difference? Portrait guy, and everywhere I walk, I see pictures of people, yes. people, people. But this has not any type no of face. No face. No, no face. It was commissioned in collaboration with a foundation called the Wellcome Trust, who do a lot of work in medical research. And they wanted, with the gallery, to make a portrait of this person, Sir John Salston. And John Salston's fantastically important because he's the guy who basically cracked the genetic codes of DNA. In other words, what it is that at essence makes us up, what it is that makes you, you, and me, me. Mm. And this was an incredibly important piece of work. Anyway, so when they discussed it, they invited the artist Mark Quinn was to say, instead of conventional portrait of Sir John Salston, why don't we have John Salston's own genetic material? Because this is Sir John Salston. I mean, theoretically, this genetic material, you could take this and you could produce Sir John Salston from that. Now, that's a bit theoretical, and it would be quite difficult to do. So the idea, therefore, is that this is a different kind of portrait. It is Sir John Sulston, but not in the way of an image. Absolutely. Art is for everybody. Now, it doesn't mean to say everybody thinks that art is for them, and it's not that one wants to force art down anybody's throat. You know, art's a matter of choice. If you want to get interested, then you can. But the real point, I think, about a gallery like this and we have a young people's program to encourage young people to come and take part and activities and all kinds of special things going on is that we want to make people feel that they're part of it that it's a story for everybody that they can be engaged involved and they can change it that they can make it different too mm -hmm.